Hello! It is gloriously sunny today, so I've popped up to the plot very quickly with a little helper to mainly harvest some tomatoes, cut the tops off the tomatoes, also want to harvest some kale and some bits and bobs. But really, I haven't come up to the allotment not to do a specific job for quite a long time. Um, I've always had something really specific that I needed to do up here. But today I have actually come up just to enjoy being at the allotment for a little while and just enjoy some sunshine really. And look who's back. He returns to the allotment. We haven't really brought him to the allotment much whilst he was a puppy. We brought him a few times but he's getting a bit older now and he is a bit calmer. So we're going to try him again. He loves a mooch though, so I'm not sure what exactly you'll get up to. But we'll see how he goes. <laughs> he might not be a fully fledged member of the allotments yet. But we'll see. So you will be able to see even when I just scan along the polytunnel there, there's a lot of orange and red, a lot of tomatoes have ripened up. But the main job that I want to do is cut the tops off these tomatoes here that I've grown at quite a rate. And I'm so told that they're actually bending over the top bars in the polytunnel. Now we have some super steak tomatoes down here and they are starting to blush. And when they say super steak, they really, really are. The question I am considering is whether or not to harvest these as they are they're not ripe yet obviously they haven't got long to go but i just don't want anything to get them before we do and i have read that you can and should actually harvest tomatoes when they're blushing and then ripen them at home what are your thoughts on that these are the black star variety of tony c smith that we took to hampton court still with the Newcastle Brown Ale and still in the terracotta pot as well and these have actually started to ripen up now too so a lot of them have turned blush underneath and started to turn red that's how you know that they're ready these ones are still a bit green on the bottom so that means that they're not quite ripe yet I know a few people have asked me how I know when these darker coloured purple tomatoes are ready and that is how I tell wow Oh wow, it's a beautiful tomato. First, I'm gonna harvest all of the ripe tomatoes off it and the jalapenos and the peppers and the cucumbers because there's so much going on in here and it's very exciting. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I know I said it was a gloriously sunny day. It started lashing down. Good old northeast summers. that is definitely the best tomato harvest that we have ever had and there's still so many more tomatoes in here that need to ripen up yet yeah, i'm probably gonna weigh this when i get home to be honest because it feels like it weighs a lot there's some really really lovely varieties in here as well long tall sally crushed heart beams yellow pear the black stars just so so many lovely tomatoes in here so in order to keep getting these tomatoes i need to cut the tops off them so it feels a little bit brutal to just take the sacateurs and chop off the top of the tomato but it is for good reason and that is to encourage them to ripen up 
it'll make sure that all of the energy off the plant, all of the sugar goes into ripening the fruit rather than setting new flowers. And this time of year is the best time of year to do it. So let's get to it. So as you most definitely will be able to see, some of the tomatoes have grown so high that they're actually leaning over the top bars in the polytunnel. And they have gotten a little bit away with themselves to be honest and as much as I've really enjoyed watching them grow really tall and get lots of tomatoes on now is the time to really be brutal about it so we have the main stem and even though there are flowers on top of here I don't think that we're gonna get any more fruit off this tomato here <sighs> feels it feels wrong doing it but I'm just going to chop the top off and it is literally called topping so it is literally just cutting the top off the tomato plant and hopefully that'll mean that we'll get more of a chance of having ripe tomatoes at the bottom so I'm gonna do that with all of the tomatoes in here now and here we are the tops of all of the tomatoes that are on this side of the polytunnel some of them do have flowers on them quite a, quite a few of them have flowers on them still to be honest but i don't think that we would manage to have fruit grow on these and then that fruit ripen in time before our season ends so i made the decision to cut off the tops that even have flowers on it smells unbelievable the tomato smell is is just like no other but Hopefully we will have lots of ripe tomatoes and hopefully they'll all ripen before the first frost, which I'm hoping is not going to be due in a while. Probably going to be like beginning of October, middle of October. It's advisable to cut the tops off about a month before the first frost, but I just want to make sure that we have a lot of ripe tomatoes in here last year i had a lot of green tomatoes that i was having to harvest because the season was coming to an end it was really getting a bit too cold in the other polytunnel and whilst the to green tomato chutney was lovely and it went down a treat i would really love to have more red tomatoes this year so hopefully hopefully this will do the trick and with that brutal job done the sunshine's come back it is roasting in this polytunnel it must get so so warm in here when the doors are closed in the mornings before i come up and open them but there are some cucumbers and some gherkins that need harvested i'm gonna harvest some jalapenos yeah it's really really such a lovely time of year and i love going home with just baskets full of fresh food that i've grown myself but the polytunnel has just been something else this year. I've had a smaller polytunnel before and I have grown in a greenhouse, a glass house before as well. But the size of this polytunnel and just the, just everything about it, honestly, I absolutely love it. We are still getting so many cucumbers off the plants behind me. This Honey Plus variety from Grown Local has just grown even more. It's trailing even further along the top bar and it's just been absolutely prolific i have read that the best time to harvest them the honey plus variety is pretty much when they're this size and that means that they're nice and sweet the skin isn't too thick it can get a bit bitter if you harvest them when they're bigger but this is ideal size to harvest the honey plus variety we'll have a gherkin and we'll have a crystal lemon as well and I think I've probably harvested close to maybe 30 cucumbers this year, maybe more to be honest already and it's only the middle of August and there's still fruit to get a bit bigger, there's still fruit to harvest. It's just been such a good year for cucumbers this year. But fear not, as with most gardens there is always some failures as well and today that is in the form of <laughs> this aubergine the best aubergine the biggest aubergine that has ever been grown on this allotment well we've had it anyway and it seems like unfortunately a slug or possibly a caterpillar 
got there before we did. But while it is a loss, and we're still actually classing this as a win because it's still the biggest aubergine that we've ever grown, it's just not us that's gonna get to eat it. But I'm seriously impressed that this aubergine has grown because we've had massive plants, massive foliage, loads and loads of beautiful purple flowers and never really any aubergines in previous years. This year we've harvested three aubergines so it's still an overall win, but we should have just got here sooner for this one. That is one thing that I've seriously learned whilst I've been gardening though, and that is that Mother Nature is just 100% in charge and you don't always get what you plan or what you hoped for in the garden. One thing that I am happy about though are these jalapenos and I'm gonna harvest these today. I'm gonna take them home. I'm gonna pickle them, which I just love, love spicy pickled jalapenos. A lot of them have started to ripen up a little bit. They're going a little bit purple. They are a purple jalapeno variety, but I can't really wait any longer. So I'm gonna get those harvested today. And hopefully we have enough for a few jars of pickled jalapenos. <music> a lot of jalapenos that I've got here in various sizes, some quite big ones, some much smaller ones. I've only harvested one plant's worth today, there are another two plants that I'm going to leave and let the fruit ripen a little bit more. And when I say I can't wait, what I meant was is that quite a few of the fruit had started to be nibbled at a little bit, there was a few holes appearing in some of them and jalapenos are hands down as much as I love tomatoes and the excitement of the cucumbers. Jalapenos are my favourite things to grow. I eat a lot of jalapenos and I just didn't want any to not come home with me basically. <laughs> so that's why I've harvested them today. Um, there's a few more chilies on here as well that are nearly ready. There's a few orange ones that are ready to be picked today. Some cayenne chilies and some chili pepper hungarian hot wax that look ready as well so i'm gonna get those harvested and i'm gonna make a curry tonight so maybe we might put a very very spicy chili in that just a little seedling update from the polytunnel there as well so these are some of the seeds that i sowed about a week and a half ago maybe some of them a week ago we've got the swiss chard that i really still need to prick out and put on we have brassicas and some more Swiss chard there, rainbow varieties and the bigger varieties. Fuck. I'm really bad with remembering names and I'm pretty sure I did not write it correctly on that label. So it's the big, the big chard with the white stalks. I will remember the name of it, but not right now. And we have the onions here. They're just starting to pop up there. A lot of people said that they grow onions from seed. One person told me that it actually means that they can't get white rot if you grow them from seed. Um, so that's good. That's not ever something that I've suffered with before, but it's good to know that. But there they are just popping up small there. And spring onions, more radish, beetroot and some no nothing on that label i think this is a mixture of lettuce in here i think it really does shock me that i have not one label <laughs> with the variety or the seed written on i did write them on <laughs> in orange fine tip pen and i think whilst I'd be more in them, the names might have rubbed off. Oopsies. <laughs> I didn't come here to do an update, but as always in the garden, it is ever changing. And there are eventually tassels on the corn, which is exciting because we might actually manage to get some corn this year. They're very, very small plants still, um, but there are tassels, so we will see. If I zoom in on just the tops, then it looks like we have some impressive sweet corn. 
but if I go out just a little bit you can see how small the actual plant is in height but the tassels are beautiful and they're a lovely lovely purpley pink colour so once more appear I will give the plant a little shake and hopefully we might get some corn it is wind pollinated which is why we've planted them like this maybe I might have planted them a little bit too close together to be honest but if nothing appears I have enjoyed watching them grow to be honest So when I said when I first got here that I was just going to enjoy being at the allotment for a little bit, not get too many jobs done, I really have. I've done maybe one proper job which was cutting the tops off the tomatoes, I've harvested so much stuff and I've just had a really nice hour being here to be honest. It has been raining and it has been gloriously sunny but that is how August seems to be going at the minute. But I've had a really nice little time up here today and I think it's really important to just get out in the garden sometimes and not have a list of jobs to do and just actually enjoy being in the garden or in the allotment and just appreciate it and not actually do anything. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you enjoy, do the things and I will see you soon.